Hello, welcome back to Sin City Review. Uh, today, I'm going to be going over a couple of uh, weapons lights. Uh, these are very diverse small lights used for pistols, shotguns, rifles, etc. Um, now, we'll start off on uh, the similarities, the differences. Uh, we'll go through everything. I'll show you the light beam patterns, why you know I like one over another for certain situations, also uh, the price points. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off just the uh, stats of what each light has. Now, uh, we'll well, first we'll go through the lights. This is a Surefire X300, uh, great light. Love this a lot. I've had this for a few years. Uh, this is one of my recent additions. About a year ago, I uh, got the TLR1 by Streamlight. Now, um, they're both great for pistols. They're both great for shotguns. They're both great for rifles. Maybe one more so for home defense. Maybe one more so for military use. You know, uh, but 170 lumens. That's what the Surefire X300 puts out. So really bright. Uh, you can't ask for much more out of a light this small. 170 lumens is great. Um, 135, you know, for the stream light, it's that's good. Um, you know, for home defense use and everything else, that's perfect. Uh, you know, you won't tell so much of a difference between those two beam patterns, but there is a difference. Um, when it comes down to runtime, you have uh, 2.4 hours out of your Surefire. You got 2.5 out of the stream light, so not much of a difference there. Um, they both stay active for 10 years. Um, that's their uh, their battery life, that's what they'll keep if they're not used 10 years. Um, as far as batteries, they both use the CR123A, they're three volt lithium batteries. Um, they both use two of them. Um, and you can see they're both about the same size. Uh, I won't go over exactly the bezel diameter and like the inches and everything. You can find that out on the websites. Now, there are some differences, some pretty big differences. Uh, for instance, the Surefire is submersible to 22 meters underwater and it's waterproof up to 22 meters. That's pretty amazing. Um, I mean, if you're a SEAL, you're doing some stuff underwater, you're going to definitely want that light over the TLR1. For instance, this is one meter. 22 meters, one meter. So, big difference there. And this doesn't even consider waterproof. It's 20 meters up to, gosh, I think it's like an hour, they say. So, oh, excuse me, 30 minutes. This is 30 minutes waterproof for one hour. This is waterproof indefinitely for, gosh, 22 meters. That's pretty crazy. So anyways, moving on from there, uh, they're both made out of uh, forged aluminum. Um, this is mil-spec hardened anodized, this is just anodized. I don't know, maybe they should say they're mil-spec anodized, but I know this is a mil-spec anodization where this uh, at least doesn't says it is. Um, so there's a difference there as well. Now as far as uh, price, big, big difference. Uh, 250 bucks, $89. Paid 250 for this, paid 89 for this. Uh, so if you're looking for price point and you're just going to be using something around the house to, you know, use as home security, you know, on your shotgun, your pistol, just go with the TLR1. It's a great light. I mean, it's going to do everything you want to ask for it, and it's less than half the price of the Surefire. If you're doing some heavy-duty work, you know, and you're, you're in military and whatnot, and you need that hardened case and the underwater capability, the Surefire is definitely going to be your best bet as far as underwater goes. If not, then that TLR1 might work for you as well. I mean, that's an expensive, expensive light. I probably wouldn't have paid that much for it um, without owning it. Now that I've paid that much and I've owned it, I would buy it again just because I like the beam pattern it shoots on my pistol. I like that a lot. Um, it gives me a little more range, but uh, this is great on my shotgun for my home defense. Um, so yeah, a couple of different ways I use this. This actually goes on my uh, 1911. Uh, this is my, you know, pistol light, basically, uh, for both home defense and, you know, if shit ever goes down, you know, I have that a longer range capability on my pistol. Um, just a harder, rugged, you know, end of days type light. TLR1, it throws a wider beam. This throws a longer, tighter beam. This throws a wider beam. So this is great for home defense. So my shotgun, uh, you know, moving around the corners, you know, teaching my wife how to clear the home and whatnot uh, for intruders and things like that. This has a really wide beam. It just looks awesome. I mean, you, it just lights up everything. It's crazy. Um, let me go ahead and show you the beams. Let's just see how they look. Start with the uh, TLR1 here. As you can see, the little halo around the actual main beam is really wide. And as I pull it out from here, it will go out of focus, but it just gets wider and wider. And eventually, it just encompasses the whole room. So that's a really cool beam. I like that a lot. Uh, turn on the uh, X300 here. You know, you can see a little halo, but it's going to disperse really quick. I mean, it's already gone. You can see that, right? Right there, it loses it. So whereas this halo stays pretty constant, gets bigger and stays bright, this halo disperses to, to nothing basically, but the Surefire X300 has a wider or a brighter beam and it's more dense. As you can see, the one on the right, the TLR1, not as quite as bright as the uh, X300. You know, that's the lumen difference. I'll pull them out here a little further and you'll see 
how the intensity stays. This is kind of washing out where this one is actually staying really bright. But as far as encompassing a larger surface area of light in a small room, I do like the TLR1 just because of that beam that it has. I mean, you can see it back into focus, the halo there. As I pull it away, it'll just get bigger and bigger and go out of out of light. But I like that a lot better with this one. Once you pull it, it kind of just disperses. See, it's already gone. It doesn't pull all the way out with the light. Anyways, uh, quick little look at both those lights. Um, now, they both come with a, a lot of different mounting hardware. Um, right now, I have the 1913 mount because this goes onto my shotgun. Let's see if I can get that in focus for you. I don't know if it will. Anyways, a lot of different mounting hardware for everything from 1911s to your Glock to your Sig to your, you know, H and K or you know, you name it. They pretty much have a mount for it. It comes with all the hardware, both lights. So I can't really knock one for having more than the other. They both have lots of great mounts. Now this one has a couple different mounting options. Uh, this one I have right now on the light on uh, the light itself. You pull this piece back right here, and then you pull out this bolt, and that's actually you slide that on the weapon system. And then, of course, it closes. Um, that's what I have on there. They have other ones that actually are like, you don't use a squeeze piece. It's a, or, or this pullback piece is a squeeze piece. And it uses like pressure on both sides to lock it in. So Surefire has a couple more mounting options as far as how it attaches to the gun. Um, the TLR1 is pretty cool because you can actually see the piece as it pushes to the side. It uses this little uh, flathead, this little screw piece right here. And once you've uh, clamped it onto the gun, you twist this down with your hand and it tightens it. So that works great as well. You can also not have to put your hand in front of the muzzle of the gun, you know, to put on your light. That's what they say about this light. You just push that and you can clip it right on from underneath. This clips on or the Surefire has to slide on. Now there was a recent publication. Um, gosh, this Guns and Ammo. Uh, the Guns and Ammo, if you can get this on, on video here. Uh, the Combat Arms, you know, this is one of their magazines and whatnot. Um, they're talking about, let me see if I can get this better in focus. There we go. They're talking about how different lights have different capabilities. They go through and they rate everything. And I just wanted to go quickly through this because uh, they have some false things going on here, especially with a Surefire. Now, back here, they'll have all these lights. They go through, gosh, a ton of them. They go through your stream lights, your Surefires, everything. But um, one of the false things they have on here is they're talking about the ac uh, the switches and in, in, uh, how they wish that the Surefire X300 um, would have a momentary on switch. Well, it does, okay? I'm not sure if that's showing up in camera, but it says, uh, it would be nice to have a momentary on function instead of just a steady on. Well, it does, so I don't know where they're getting their information from or who did the research, but they suck. I mean, this is a publication through Guns and Ammo, and they don't even know that much about the light they're testing. Apparently, the person didn't test it that well. So they took it down and hold another star just because they say it doesn't have a momentary on switch. Well, that's not true, because it does. I'll show you. Okay. Now, both the TLR1 and the Surefire have momentary on and steady on. Uh, for instance, right now, I'll put it steady on. That's steady on on the stream light. Uh, the left side, once you push it up, uh, it goes steady on. The left side, once you push it down, it's just a pulse. So as long as you hold it down, it stays on, as you see. Same thing with the right side. Up for a pulse and down for steady on. So it's just opposite. It's just a little toggle, as you can see right there. Um, Surefire, on the other hand, once you toggle it, either on the right side up, or the left side up, or right side down, or left side down, however you toggle it, it stays on. So I can see what they're saying as far as, oh, there's no momentary. Well, there is. You just pulse it. You just press it from behind. Either side, you pulse it, or press on, it goes on. So for instance, with my pistol, like I have this mounted, you just basically take your pointer finger and you pulse. You know? You pulse it on the gun. If you're left-handed, it just goes on the other side. So the whole thing about not having a momentary on switch is bullshit. I mean, I don't understand how you could be a, a professional publication in and put something in there that's completely false about a product that's as good as a Surefire. So I hope that clears up a couple things uh, on that. Um, they're both great lights. I'm not going to knock either one of them. Uh, for the price point, definitely go with the TLR1. If you have to have it for the military uses and some submersible qualities, go for the uh, Surefire. I mean, if you don't need it though, 250 compared to $89, that's, you know, that's a huge price difference. But I hope this uh, clarified anything you didn't know about the lights. Uh, I'll annotize or annotate anything um, you know, that I did left out of the video. Um, any questions, concerns, or just want to leave any comments, feel free as always. Hope you enjoy the video.